Hey, how's it going? <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's what three, two, one means, right? Yeah. Okay. Yep. Now there are yeah. people watching it. You're people can see me. Uh, yeah, we got um, that. maybe like seven or oh, nice. eight people out there right now, just hanging out. We should do that. Eight people hanging out. Nobody needs to hear that ad. Oh, I see uh, Hostel Eldridge and Metagrowth out there. And uh, Meyer Doug. Oh, Eric is there, but he's not in the Zoom call. What's Eric. up, Eric? <laughs> Hi, Shay. How's it going? Das Luigi. Suspicious. I see some names I don't recognize. Well, that's Ethan, exciting. Dead Picks, Do Wa Do, Grey Ghost. Yeah, that's cool. Hi, hi, hi. So, um, you know, this week is a uh, U.S. holiday. It's Thanksgiving. Are either of you, like, cooking any big meals for your family, or what are your plans? Sort of. We are not doing a traditional Thanksgiving because it's pandemic Thanksgiving, and you should only cook things that make you happy, I feel. So I didn't want to make a turkey for people. Yeah, so We're making yeah, country-style ribs. Ooh. What I'm not making some... them, so I don't, I don't have any fancy recipe to serve them. What makes so them I... country-style? It's a cut, a different cut. Oh, I see. I assumed like barbecue sauce or something, really? but... This is actually a question because I, I don't know if that has maybe people in the chat know um, what that if that has another name as meat that often do. But my husband made a uh, like a, a habanero hot sauce, I think to go with it, but maybe not using leftovers from. OK, we have a funny Thanksgiving cooking story, actually. So one of the things that I made today, my husband's family makes this cranberry salad that is very midwestern it's brown cranberries celery pineapple canned pineapple and pecans although we're trying something different because my son's allergic nice. um, and then jello and it sounds weird but it's actually really tasty uh, uh so it sounds delicious to me i mean i said nice at an awkward time because like <laughs> you know you just talked about your son's allergies and i was like nice yeah he can yeah. sneezy when he eats pecans <laughs> yeah they may be taking happy bed home um but so it's like lemon jello, right? So I got tapped to make this because I was cooking things today. So the first thing you have to do is make the jello part. So you put the boiling water in and then you dump in the jello and you stir it up with the sugar, right? All that makes sense. Mm -hmm. um, so I get out the two little boxes of lemon jello and I open the first one and I'm like, this is really fat. Like I don't make a lot of jello, but I feel like this bag is awful big, but okay, whatever. I dump it in and I look at, I pick up the next box and I'm like, this box is definitely smaller. So I look at the first one and I'm like, the art is different. The art on the first box looks like pudding. It is pudding. Oh. An instant pudding is like sugar and cornstarch mostly. <laughs> yeah. And if you put cornstarch in boiling water, it goes Poof. So I have this measuring cup full of clumped up lemon goo. And I go, hey. hey. I'm like, Right. Kevin, what is this? Like, do, I'm like, did you know you bought lemon pudding? He's like, that's why it said lemon pudding on the receipt. <laughs> oh, that's why. Yeah, oh, that's why it said lemon yeah. pudding. Wow. Actually, we had a, a random box of lime jello in the back of the pantry. So I just <laughs> one lemon, one lime, and uh, it is setting in the fridge. Oh, nice, nice, nice. That's my Thanksgiving cooking story. And I posted my picture of pumpkin cheesecake. That was a beautiful picture of a uh, pumpkin cheesecake. I'm so excited. It's the first time I've ever made a cheesecake that, like, it, I have to be honest, it has a tiny crack in it, but like normally it just goes <laughs> and I don't care because it tastes good. But it doesn't, it didn't crack very much, so that's exciting. We're talking about things we are making for Thanksgiving. Sweet. Does I'm anybody... baking a loaf of bread for Thanksgiving. That's not really a surprise. I bake loaves of bread all the time. So. <laughs> uh, what kind of bread? Spelt sourdough, which is what I usually make. Ooh, are you the people? So, like, did you start making sourdough before all of this, or did you oh, have yeah. your? Okay, my starter is uh, at least five years old at this point. Whoa, that's that's amazing. Sounds like a good mother mother dough. Is that what they call it? Mm -hmm. Are you starting to look into good schools for your for your starter and stuff? Like that? <laughs> yeah. yeah. Well, I mean, in the age of COVID, I uh, my sourdough has enough germs that are the right kind of germs, and I don't want different kinds of germs, so. You know. Does your starter have a name? <laughs> hmm. You know Friends what? I've never given it a name, starters. which is weird since I am a writer. Yeah. 
It's like I don't know. Chat, I don't... Start brainstorming names for Eric Starter. Oh <laughs> yeah. I don't know. I don't know if the chat knows this, but like eighty percent of the reason people become writers is they like naming things. So <laughs> then you learn to hate it. You have to name so many damn things. Oh yeah. Definitely becomes a process. Oh, I have started like making spreadsheets of names before I start a book because I get so if I don't then I get in the middle and I'm like I don't care anymore uh -huh. I just don't even care but if I like in the beginning I'm like oh I'm gonna make this like list of like you know here's this culture and here's like a big list of male names and female names and neutral names and then I can just pull them as they pop in because every time you have to stop and think of a name yeah and also like you know I frequently I, I have that problem where I have a real I struggle to keep any character minor <laughs> so they even if i think they're just going to walk on and say this way sir like then the person starts having a conversation with them and then like <laughs> and then it turns out they're really interesting to introduce each other right yeah yeah that and... one drives me crazy when it's like, <laughs> like there's too many names you have to cut some names i'm like okay but if he doesn't know her name that seems like a real asshole move he yeah. should ask her name she's helping him a lot <laughs> I guess it's hard for people to remember a ton, a ton of names. Yeah. yeah. So today for everybody our... work on that. No, go ahead. <laughs> today for our uh, Thanksgiving episode, we are missing two of our members, unfortunately. Um, Stephen and Rhiannon will not be joining us tonight. Um, they are because of the out. aforementioned Thanksgiving thing. Yeah. And if anybody wants to check out like some of the, the holiday food pictures that Erin was talking about, especially of her lovely cheesecake, does that sound weird? I don't know. I'm going it with it. It sounds a little weird, but it's okay. <laughs> it, was, you know, it wasn't too weird, and then you pointed at the weirdness. <laughs> Maybe I was trying to make it weirder. I'm trying to like lure oh. people into our Discord, you know, to check out Erin's oh. <laughs> cheesecake. My cheesecake Join photo. Our Discord. That's the line you need. Check out Erin's cheesecake photo. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, just type in uh, exclamation mark Discord and... Um, yeah, I should pop up a, an invite for you. Cool. So we've got some uh, <laughs> new people out there. Hey, oh, how do you say this? Ragnar? Hey, Ragnar. Hey, Shino. Uh, Sonderjack recommended that I name my starter Yeast Nogu. <laughs> Whoa. Which is a pretty good, pretty good suggestion, I gotta say. <laughs> I love it. Oh. I'm not going to take that suggestion, but you get uh, plus two points for that suggestion. Susan's, or the, Susan, who guest DM'd for us before, has the starter called um, That Which Sleeps. Mm. <laughs> I, Whoa. I ate a piece, I ate a loaf of bread from That Which Sleeps. It was really good. That is a great name. I love like names like that. <laughs> That give it like more like ominous, uh, ominous importance, you know, than than what it really has. It's like every bite that you eat is like a little, um, like a little risk that you're taking, a little <laughs> mystery, a little adventure that you're going on. Oh goodness! One in one hundred people who takes a bite of this bread is cursed. Make your roll. <laughs> yeah. Before we started, I was like, I'm going to take a picture of myself and be like, oh, we're going to drink soon. And I absolutely can't take a selfie. <laughs> I always look really grim. Show us your, show us your grimmest face. <laughs> <laughs> That's hard to, for you to say that. And then I have to like stop laughing. So um, like pretend the camera, the webcam no, in front of you work. is the selfie cam. Is the selfie cam? Maybe. Yeah, let's see it. <laughs> this is too much pressure. I was going to try to imagine that I'm yelling at my son, but um, I don't know. I feel like every time I take a picture, a self, like a selfie, I end up kind of going like, <laughs> which is weird. I'm like, I don't think I was making that face. <laughs> <laughs> like a concerned face. You're like thinking about all the, the technical parts of taking a picture, right? Like, right. Yo, is this the right angle? Am I hitting like the button? the angle, do the, the straight teeth side. Keep my eyes like open the right where, amount where so I don't I end up with like one crazy eye. Is it here? Is it is it here? Where lips together, teeth apart, or whatever it is. I don't know. Three, two, one, here. duck I'm face. Just gonna, I'm just gonna take a picture. Oh, three. Jazzy. Thanks for the 300 bits. We appreciate Yay. you. Hey, Jazzy. Nice. Ooh. 
Um, I once dated a girl who used to take selfies all the time, but she had uh, basically like one pose. And I think that when people surprise me like with a picture or like a, you know, like if I don't think about it, I end up like using her pose, unfortunately. And it's like, it's like this pose. It's like, <laughs> you know wait, what I'm wait, talking wait. about? You wait, see it on social it, media. Do it. Do, no. it do it again. Do it again. Do it again. Everybody make your worst selfie face. My selfie face? I, I, I think this is that. what she does. She does like the head, head <laughs> tilt down, <laughs> eyes up, like arm out. All right. Worst Damn. selfie pre-show. Worst. So, among that was the, the point. Do your worst selfie. Was that not your worst? Oh, yeah. <laughs> uh, definitely not my best. That's all I got, Aaron. I'm sorry. It's, all downhill from <laughs> it's not your worst. It's not your best. It just your is. It's all downhill from here. Okay, so among the West Gator regulars, who takes the best selfies? Go. Armesia. This is the yeah, funniest question. I mean, it takes her a while. She has to get it all made up perfectly and everything. And so then... Artemisia is one of those, like, I'm the right I take an hour to take a candid selfie. Yeah. 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 Oh, you caught me waking up. All made yeah. up perfectly. <laughs> and... Oh, have you guys watched that, the new Jumanji? Oh, I got to no. move. Oh, it's yes. so, it's yes. so shockingly good. I got to move the biscuit just a little bit. Jack Black. Oh, I gotta move the pillow. Just... <laughs> Jack Black, please. Hashtag a, just a, woke. A teenage girl like trapped in Jack Black's body. And at one point they like, there's this, she, she takes a lot of selfies. She does a lot of Instagram. And at one point there's like this thing where they have to like keep eye contact with the Cobra and like, we're all, what are we gonna do? She's like, and he's like, oh, I'm amazing. Eye contact. And it's like, <laughs> she uses this ability to like save them. It's really cool. It's surprisingly good. It did not look like a good movie. I will completely side with you on that. But then it was delightful. It looked like a stellar cast. I like uh, I like Jack Black. I like The Rock. I like the Rock uh, also, Kevin. The because the, the premise is like they're kids in the real world. Last name. They get Kevin sucked Hart. into this Kevin video Hart, yeah. game version, and they're these are their avatars basically. Mm -hmm. So like, in the in the chat, Doug said that Shumanji is the best D and D movies so far. Whoa. I can totally <laughs> see it. Absolutely correct. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I mean, I could even totally see like the party roles too. You know, like The Rock is sort of like the barbarian strength fighter. Um, yeah, what are your weaknesses? None. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Jack Black is uh, like he was like the knowledgeable one, right? Yeah. Like the map maker guy. Yeah. He has the map. That. That's the that's that's like the thing that's super important. What D and D class do you think he would be? Bard. Ooh, I can see that. Also, I feel like if anybody's gonna be good at Instagram, it's the Bard. So, so you're saying Stong takes bard. the best Instagram pictures? I think Stong <laughs> takes Instagram pictures. Okay, okay. Never gonna send this tweet. I think Stong takes Instagram <laughs> pictures that are utterly bizarre, but consistently bizarre, and has a really devoted fan following of people who are not sure if it's a troll or if it's like high art, but they love it. Yeah. Is this an ARG? Unexpected. Is this an ARG? I don't know. I think Stong I really <laughs> probably has exactly 69,000 followers. <laughs> nice. nice. And, I like to. Uh, yeah. I like to think that Mirabelle, like you would make an account for Mirabelle, 100%. and then hundred percent. Yeah, and it's pictures she takes. Mirabelle Whoa. has more followers right? than yes. everyone combined. Yes. Yeah. So it's like it's pictures of like Dong's feet that she's like hanging over the side, <laughs> or like a really blurry smear of like people moving, or like sixty-four pictures of her like this. <laughs> mm -hmm. I believe this in my heart. <laughs> yeah. And pictures of wherever she goes to when she disappears in her baby Bjorn. That's true. You I know. feel like those are probably all very blurry as well. And yeah. you look at them, you're like, is that a tentacle? Is that a clown or is that a. <laughs> <laughs> oh. <laughs> I feel like Sturge's Instagram is mostly landscapes, like pictures of buildings. And you're like, why is he sharing that? And it'll have like, arcane obscure hashtags associated potentially like really long like comments under it i feel like search could probably get a ramp up 
but with a lot of hashtag. <laughs> right, and he only has like 12 followers, but he always gets the most comments. <laughs> yeah, I can see that. I mean, I can also see him making like like a fake account, like a catfishing account, and then following like a bunch of night yeah. masks and other like, you know, people in the city. <laughs> yeah. And then like, he's like, oh, I'm not Sturge. I'm a young vampire looking for a gang oh to God. join. Tell me all the info. I love the idea that Sturge has an Instagram account. With like 12 followers 11 of them are sturge sock puppets but one might be the night mask yeah the night <laughs> yes because this is really why he has an instagram account i think yeah. if Cecilia has an instagram account she has forgotten the password and doesn't remember it. sturge's sturge's posts are usually things like see you soon <laughs> <laughs> don't be creepy dude <laughs> <laughs> yeah he'd be lurking yeah, what, what would uh, sliding into people's DMs? What what would Rogar's uh, Instagram be like? Rogar's Instagram? Um, oh, uh, you know, pictures of lots of things that are like, isn't life wonderful? Isn't life beautiful? Hashtag so blessed. <laughs> Hashtag <laughs> blessed. <laughs> um, well, I'm thinking like he has a whole set of hashtags which are just. Uh, song versions of uh spell names yeah oh yeah probably that that is true and then uh yeah and lots of pictures of very handsome uh you know uh men and elves and other things that just happened i mean he's taking a picture yeah, like, of like a beautiful a, scenery they just like happen to be in it you've made like an inspirational photo of this like beautiful field with a yes. farmer with his shirt off standing yes. in front of it because he's worked so hard for this field he cares about. He's, yes, he's nurturing the life of the land. <laughs> and... He's got like the white text over it. Yeah, <laughs> it's very inspirational. I feel like Rogar was real popular on Tumblr and then they changed their policies. <laughs> so now he's on Instagram. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Would, uh, I would think Rogar be the... is an influencer though. Mm. Would Rogar be the type to like, you know, like a thousand photos but only post like 10 photos or? Probably, actually, yeah, he'd be like on there, like, yeah, like promoting everybody else's things, and like, like, oh, loving it, and loving, oh, oh, oh. I'm so happy for you, all good. <laughs> Do you need any help with that? Oh, uh, so meta growth reminds us of something very important that happened this week. We oh, got no. our first piece of fan art. Oh uh, yes, <laughs> yes. Thanks to yes. Uh, Sonder Jack, I believe. Oh no, no yeah, another Isaac, aka Sonder Jack. Nice. So I'm going to show it to you all. And, I think you should. Uh, you know, I, I don't know if we're going to be like tripping any like Twitch, um, you know, code Children of Children avert your eyes. Also, why are you watching? That's right. <laughs> but without further ado, here is our very first piece of fan art that we've received. Ta-da. Look at it right here. Isn't it beautiful? <laughs> is it in the middle? Yep. Uh, I put it over all of our faces. Look at this that. is uh, this is from the scene of the uh, the moonlight ritual from a few sessions ago, <laughs> it was like ten <laughs> sessions ago. Yeah. Um, when uh, Shay Darksung uh, persuaded most of the irregulars to come and join her for devotion to her goddess Elastray, uh, deity of the moon and rebellion against the drow, and the most sacred thing you can do in the church of Elastray is to dance naked under the moon. So. There you go. There you uh, go. So I have a question because Sonder Jack <laughs> feels that I said he should do this fan art. I don't remember saying that. I don't remember being here for this story about Thirsty Sturge fan art. But um, did I? Did I forget? You know, I 100% believe Sonder Jack over you, Aaron. So I'm sorry. <laughs> you can't convince me otherwise. <laughs> I, feel like, I feel like I feel a bit smart. But, <laughs> but it's funny at least well we encourage people to create fan art we will give you uh shout outs on the stream <laughs> because it's just so awesome so thanks thanks for that Sonder. uh yes and then also we'll have something Look, else to rotate puppet. out with this so you're not 100 percent just seeing this all the time but i like the tasteful placement of the tombstone <laughs> yeah it draws the eye yet obscures all the important things i guess i don't know and uh, uh what, what's the name on the tombstone there can we can we make that out 
Um, I'm gonna blow it up for the audience. I think you oh. should. <laughs> oh no, I haven't had enough wine for this. <laughs> That's had... what you want, Surge coming at you. I haven't had any alcohol for like a week now because I had surgery on Monday. But you have purpose Wait, that we feeling. Go. You know, that's... <laughs> here we go. We're going to just strategically zoom and crop. <laughs> it says... People feel strongly that I said this, so I just need to watch my mouth. Is that... Or I need to say things that lead to more fan art. That could be a tombstone on a hill, you know? I mean, it's dated 2020. <laughs> it says un, un Accessory, like unnecessary. I <laughs> love it. I like how we were all staring at it for like several minutes until Aaron finally <laughs> got it. <laughs> I'm not really the I pun am guy, so. I you deciphering a lot of things. But... <sighs> all right. Speaking of me not having had enough wine for this, I am going to go inside and get a little bit of wine. Because right, I got like do. a tiny bit. Um, well, thank you again for that fan art. It it made me laugh so hard when I saw it. It is pretty true. What are you doing? Eric, how are yeah. you doing, my friend? I had a perk set at four o'clock. I'm feeling pretty good. <laughs> yeah. Yep. Uh, for the purposes of the audience, um, I um, had round three of my uh, battle with butt demons uh, <laughs> to fix my derriere, and uh, this should be the last surgery. I will spare you all the uh, details, just that it is, was a big pain in the ass, and I'm glad it's over with. Still recovering, though. So did you say that was like your, your last out of surgery then supposedly that's good surgery's tough you know like having surgery before in the past like it, yep. it takes a surprising amount to recover yep but um i am more coherent than i was in the surgery uh game that we did before you guys recall when you uh fought the yes. wamps in the uh the forge is done uh, um, I recall demon voice and like a lot of evil DM cackling. So, <laughs> yeah. I mean, uh, you were kind of flying, fighting flying poop monsters. So I'm not gonna pretend that it was totally unrelated. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> I yeah. See. <laughs> but no who knows what the Percocet this will time manifest? Yeah, probably. Yeah. Well, I'm excited to see what you have in store for us. Okay. Uh, we've also got some new emotes, so uh, Twitch just okayed them. Yes. Yeah, check out the new emotes, people. They're fun. Yeah, we got a set of uh, owlbear emotes. I think that they are absolutely adorable, and uh, there's one of like a flame. This started. This flame went through so many different idea changes. It started off as like hot or lit, and then it ended up being like this like sweaty fire that we called like too hot to handle or too hot. Which seemed very, very appropriate for our group. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Uh, we uh, also have some music that we're going to try to play during the session today. So, nice. yeah, a lot of new stuff. A lot of new stuff. I haven't yeah. heard any of this music, so just assume Yang Yang is going to be trolling me with music. Oh, um, it'll be Randy trolling this time. Excellent. That's even yes. better. <laughs> yeah. I, I don't have a lot to troll with. I, the The best thing I have is for Sturge, and he's not on tonight, so it'll be just pretty much basic. But uh, you know, it's just just getting started. Got I got tons and tons. We've got tons and tons of files to dig through to like find find some good stuff. So uh, just FYI, Randy, a day and a half ago was like, yeah. "Hey, everybody, could you help me review the potential music that we could play? I have four point five gigs of it." <laughs> I listened to like I I think I listened to like I must have listened to like sixty of those songs and then my yeah. brain just like shut down and I was like <laughs> all of them I yeah. like all of them exactly that's where I was that's why I was like that's when I reached out I was like you know you what if you guys want to share the burden <laughs> of going through all these files <laughs> but yeah I completely missed that message 
Because I'll a confess, I ago I was unconscious. <laughs> I mean, yeah. good reason. Good reason. Good I partially ripped off like a Matt Mercer playlist to start, and then just nice. kind of expanded from there. So, oh, cool. good person to take music from. That's yeah, got great taste. But That's yeah, nice. I mean, it, it was mostly you know the the challenge this time was just figuring out the application and getting everything all worked up. <laughs> And to make it fun, I'm remote controlling the sound on Yang Yang's computer. I can't actually hear the sounds that I'm playing. Oh. So, um, but then so I have to wait for a feedback loop. So it'll be a, it'll be an interesting, interesting. So just bear with us. But yeah. yep, lots of new potential tech gremlins <laughs> that could show up today. <laughs> yep. Welcome to the Dungeon Scrawlers 45th episode. We are going to go to a recap in a moment, and then we'll be Excellent. back at 6:30 p.m. Pacific. So see you then. Awesome.